Hello, I'm Eric, and welcome to Brainstorm Computer Systems demonstration of disk defragmentation, how you can do it, how very simple it is, and um, we'll talk a little bit about what it is and why it's so beneficial. First of all, disk fragmentation, put simply, is when files get chopped up into little bits or fragments and dispersed over your hard drive. Now what causes this is that your hard drive spins at one speed, a very fast speed, and your computer can read that information no problem whatsoever, but it can't write that fast. So the problem is that it shotguns the information onto your hard drive when it writes it, so that when you open up that particular file again, it's got to find every little piece all over your hard drive. And what that does is it takes much longer to open and use programs, and also puts a lot of extra wear and tear on your computer hard drive. So what defragmentation is, is grabbing up all those little fragments and putting them together so that your computer can read it smoothly and easily, speeding up your system. Now why this Oslogix disk defrag instead of the Windows defragmentation program? Put simply, this program will allow you to continue using your computer while it's defragmenting. It will defragment a little bit better and a lot faster. So it's a free program. We'll show you how to use it here in my Firefox browser. I'll use the Google search to find Oslogix disk defrag. We'll go to the download page. Click on the download button and then the download now. At this point, it'll ask us to save it. And it's similar with Internet Explorer. It'll ask you to save it. And we'll save it to our desktop. Excellent. I'm going to close the browser window. Now, we have on our desktop the disk defragment setup. Just click Run. And Next. We'll accept their license agreement next again, and that selection is fine. And it's going to put an icon on our desktop for us. That'll help us remember to do this regularly. Now, Microsoft recommends that you defragment your computer at least once a month. And I recommend that you do it maybe once a week if you use your computer a lot. If you're moving pictures around or if you have a lot of music on your computer, you're going to want to defragment more often than that, uh, at least once a week. All right, so now we're going to cl click Finish. And it's going to show us the drives that we can defragment on this dropdown and our primary and our secondary one. We're going to defragment our secondary drive. You can defragment both of them, um, and that's what I would recommend so that if you're using both of them. So basically this window just opens up and you click Next, and it's that simple. It automatically starts running, and then you can see it moving files around. I defragment pretty regularly, so there shouldn't be a lot of difference, but it'll tell you at the end um, how much speed boost you may have gotten. And I've seen speeds from everywhere from 1% up to close to 20% speed increase depending on how fragmented your drive is, and if you've ever done it or not. Uh, this process is going to take varying amounts of time as well, based on how fragmented your computer hard drive is. So we'll go ahead and let this run and come right back to it when it's complete, and I'll show you the end of the uh, program. So here we are, and it has finished defragmenting our hard drive. It took about 10 minutes in this case, and we got a 2% increase in uh, speed for our hard drive seeking. And now all we have to do is poke finish. And that completes the defragmentation of your hard drive. And as I said before, Microsoft recommends at least once a month. But if you're a heavy user of your hard drive, once a week would probably be a good idea. Well, I hope this helps keep your computer up and running well. It can actually double the lifespan of your hard drive and improve performance a great deal. So hope this has been beneficial to you, and uh, keep watching for other videos on how you can maintain your own computer using good software like this. Thank you. Bye.